best ways to produce top quality tooling for Leathercraft is to use alphabet and three dimensional stains. Not only can you produce very professional results, but you can do it quickly. My name is George Hurst. I would like to take some time with you today to help you work with these tools. Here are a few examples of what you can do with alphabets and three-dimensional stamps. You'll notice here we have a three-dimensional stamp and another one here, and they can be colored or they can be resisted, whatever you want. And over here we have an alphabet, and of course on these billfolds you can see where we can combine the alphabets with other stamps. Same thing here, and here we've combined a 3D stamp with regular stamps and alphabet stamps. Here we have the things we need to do alphabet and 3D stamping. First of all, here is a, uh, an alphabet set with all of the letters of the alphabet and a special handle to work with them. Uh, we have a, a good quality mallet. We have three different 3D stamps, uh, which there are many to choose from. And we have some heavy duty handles here. This is one that fits with the regular handle and this one is called the hefty handle. And you'll see why they're uh, needed in this. To do our demonstration today, we'll do a checkbook cover. Uh, first thing we need to do, of course, is dampen it with water. Now, I can never emphasize enough the importance of proper moisture content. We want to make sure we get it damp fairly well through, but not soggy. Experience will tell you how much water you should use. I have allowed my leather to dry to the point where it's beginning to return to its natural color, so it's a good time to start our process. I'm going to use this horse's head 3D stamp. I'm going to use this hefty driver and the uh, regular handle which will snap in here as you see. Now I like to use templates. I'm going to use a template on this one. I'll put it kind of down here in the corner. It's just something I cut out of some uh, poster board with my stylus. I will go around there. I will begin stamping, and if you'll notice, my impression goes over my guideline. I will stamp so that as I follow the guideline, I'm also erasing the guideline. I will assemble the driver to the to the shaft as you see here. Now I will place this over top of the 3D stamp making sure that it's in the right position and it's always good to double check to make sure that it's right side up. Now you also notice that I've got a piece of granite under here. This is good heavy granite which will make using the 3D stamps a lot better. Now I'll hit it once to set it. Now I will lean it to the left. I'll lean it forward, lean it the other way, and lean it back. Now we'll take a look and we have a pretty nice impression now. It's a little light over here so I can re-register my stamp, put the handle back on, lean in that direction, hit it a couple of times. I can still improve it some. The nice thing about 3D stamps, they're large. They cover a lot of territory, but they need to be done right. Now we have a good sharp impression all the way around. Uh, if this looks a little naked, there's something else you can do with it. I like to take a a pear shader and just go around and go inside of each 
scallop. As you can see, this really adds to our design. As you can see, we have a real nice design. I'd like to put some initials on here, and one thing nice about the alphabet sets, they have a little letter here, if you can see it on the video, that tells you that the stamp is right side up. Uh, one of the easy mistakes to make is to get the stamps either upside down or sideways. Now you'll also notice that they are self-spacing. In this case, they're offset a little bit, but they are spaced properly. So I'll put the handle in the first one. Now much like the 3D stamp we have to hold on tight and hit it several times. As you can see I have a nice impression. I can improve it a little bit. Put it back in and now I have a real nice H. I'll put the H back in go to the next letter and like I said, they're self-spacing. Double check to make sure you're right side up. Now the last one, we'll do the same thing. Make sure we're right side up. Get it in position. Hit it and rotate it. And we have a beautiful checkbook back. Like many other techniques in Leathercraft, when you're using alphabet stamps and 3D stamps, you're only limited by your imagination.